All right, what up everyone? It's your girl Gila. I am back at it again with another, another travel vlog. I know it's been an extremely long time. Hold on, let me just check if this mic is on. Testing. Hi, my name's Gila. I'm a someone in the making who's absolutely in love with film and likes to sing out loud when no one's home. I know. <laughs> Cheesy, right? Amo si manano. Te adna yes. Well, yeah, that's so. Yeah. What are your thoughts on the kid going to I don't like it, traveling right now? I don't like it. Why? Because I'm at the Druaza. <laughs> <laughs> Very close. Guys, Hasso is pregnant with child, nine months. Baby's about to come out any moment, and the kid decided it's okay to travel. Hey, she's not uh, cheap, all right? It's, it's expensive to maintain her uh -huh. and her kids. Okay. Hasso, is this a travel? Is this a business trip, or is the kid enjoying himself? I, he better not enjoy himself. <laughs> After packing our bags and planning this trip in just three days, both my older brother and I headed to the airport to begin our journey across the globe. Despite having traveled to what seemed like some of the darkest corners of the world, I was both excited and slightly intimidated for not knowing what was to come. How would we communicate with the locals? What is real Chinese cuisine like? Is there slumbe in China? I had all these questions come to mind, but that's the beauty behind traveling to places unknown. Your questions eventually find its answers. <clears throat> Hello guys, we have officially passed security. This is the very first time that I, <laughs> that I was held back and this guy wasn't. But anyways, this is my brother. Unfortunately. Like Unfortunately. This is our first time traveling together, so this ought to be interesting. Uh, there's a bet amongst our family that we're the not going to... The over-under for me killing her is currently two and a half what days. Happened? I what happened? The over-under for me killing you is about two and a half days right now. I just feel like he hasn't had any alone time, you know, like any like heart-to-heart -heart with me, so... <clears throat> this journey is going to not, not only transform me, oh but God, him as well. You're going to be doing this shit all <laughs> I'm posting this. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, people uh, think that we're not going to survive. For those of you who know us, but we are. You guys know we have a very interesting relationship, and the relationship is that, well, as much as we love each other, there's a lot of... <clears throat> there's a lot of... Uh... <sighs> we don't really get along that well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My family has put a bet on us saying that we're not going to survive more than two days. It's just that, you know, he has a different mentality, I have a different mentality, and um, I have a lot of respect for him. He's an amazing brother, it's just that we kind of like butt heads into one another all the time. He says the sky is blue and I argue and I say no, the sky the sky is green. And um, I, I, I don't know why, it's just kind of like just who we are. And um, But he's an amazing, uh, an amazing business partner. Um, I make it, I kind of up my position with him, but I say he's my business partner. Um, technically he is, but. All right, Zakia, what are you most excited about? Uh... We haven't even told them where we're going. Where are we going? We're in China. We're going to China, guys. It's my first time ever. And we have uh, this dude right here who's going to introduce me to a bunch of people that I've never met. A bunch of Muslims and Afghans in China. So who are we meeting? We're meeting one of my good friends. I haven't seen him in about four years mm -hmm. since I left Kabul. Uh, I'm actually pretty excited to see him. So we're meeting Mehdi. I met Mehdi in uh, Dubai about... Eight years ago, mm -hmm. we talked over the phone for two years, we did business together, and after that we met. <laughs> that sounds like you guys were like... And we actually became like BFFs, so huh? it was pretty cool. Cool, cool. He's so, pretty excited uh, to see me, I'm pretty excited to see you. Would you consider this like a business trip or more so of a recreational trip? Or a combination? It's always, both. It's always both. It's always both. As we continue to wait for a flight to finally take off, I decided to people watch like a creep inside the terminal. 
while my brother finished up some work, of course. All I wanted to do though was sleep, but I knew I couldn't in order to overcome jet lag for when we arrived in China. And as soon as we stepped into the plane, my brother bid farewell and made his way to where the elite were sitting. We were separated because he was flying business and I wasn't. So, I'm back here like a peasant. Business or not, I was grateful to be sitting on that plane regardless. Flash when they're trying to take a sunrise. I didn't see it. Let's do it. Oh, the sun is going down. Hi, guys. I'm with Zaki right now. We met at the halfway mark. This is where the peasants meet the, the elitist. I can have you to uh, open. Oh, good. Sorry. I can have you if you'll be. Oh, my oh. lighting. <laughs> that lighting, though. Damn. Oh yeah, brings out, brings out my... Damn, brings out my complexions. Are, are we gonna break my hudge and... Uh, yeah, we're gonna break Zika's hudge right now. Start drinking some Tobla, champagne. Tobla. I came in here for the chocolate. Take Does it, it just... I don't know, Emma. Whoa. Take, take everything back with you. Hi. Nice to meet you. Dana is my new friend. She showed me everything about China, has given me all the information that I need. Um, you already have some, you know. It is your shock. <laughs> no, um, that's kind of what happened for about three hours into the flight we were just talking to each other um, Telling each other stories exchanging stories. She was fond of my mom uh, She was literally praising my mom by the end of the flight. She's like your mom is amazing. And I was like damn Ma so many people love you. So mom if you're watching this Dana the data scientist really loves you and then I convinced her that her son needs to be put in uh, the debate team so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no Google. She's the one who just told me. She literally just told me that there's going to be no Google in China. There's something called Baidu, right? Yes. Baidu. Yeah. So we'll see if I can survive without Google, Gmail, all that kind of stuff. But and also you can download some you know, map, just like a Google map. Yeah. I was, planning, very useful I was map. planning on using Google Translator. But how am I going to use that? There's no Google. Um, yeah, so it was a really nice conversation. Had an awesome... Uh, you know 17 or 15 hours with her exchanging her stories and that's kind of like the beauty of traveling and that's one that's honestly why I do Gila Stan is so you guys can see that like it's these small little moments like I don't have any contact information on Dana I don't know how to reach her beyond like I didn't ask for her Instagram I, I doubt she even has an Instagram but I didn't ask for her like email or her number or whatever because I feel like it was kind of in that moment and that's just if I meant to see her again, then I'll see her again. If not, then I won't. And she left a really great, you know, memory with me. And so, so Dana, Hi. since you're a data analyst or a data scientist, yeah, what are the statistics that we're gonna land safely? <laughs> I would say like 99.99 percent of the chance we will see. We will safely land. <laughs> this landing is so... Uh, landing is the most dangerous part yeah. during the whole flight. Oh yeah? Taking off and then, you know, landing these two parts. These two, you know, once you, you know, the whole plan take off, uh -huh. that's the most dangerous part. And so the next to a smart person right here. <laughs> After a 15 hour flight, and not being able to eat a single meal because everything either had seafood or pork, we finally made it to Xiaomen, China. Well guys, there you have it. Dana, the data scientist, predicted that we went safe and sound, and guess what? We did. I was blown away at how beautiful the city was from up in the air. Xiaomen was nicely balanced out with both contemporary and traditional Chinese architecture, integrated into nature, and snuggled into the luscious mountains running through the region. I know, you don't see any of that stuff right now. But we had no time to see it in person before our flight was delayed, causing us to miss our initial flight to Shanghai. So we hurried. Hi guys, this is my crusty face reporting live from Xiaomen. Xiaomen's a kid. Okay, never mind. We're not recording live anymore. As we made our way through customs, my brother decided to tell me how he had enjoyed a nice cold bowl of cereal on his side of the plane. Fruit Loops to be exact. Because he felt bad, we made our way to a lounge so I too could satisfy my craving for bland western food as well. 
Then we realized there was no time to go to a lounge. So we hopped on to our next flight for Shanghai. So it's freaking hot. I'm sweating. I'm sweating in places I never knew existed. We've joined the Elitas bus. But rumor has it that a little place called Ibu, the city we'd be staying in, Taj Shlombe, also known as Dor, a yogurt based drink flowing like rivers of wine throughout the restaurants. Oh, and apparently there's a bunch of Afghans as well. <laughs> yes, you heard that right. Afghans in China. Update. We currently made it to Shanghai after 19 hours of. How many hours of traveling? Zikir? Almost more than 20 hours of traveling. We have no money. <laughs> we have. No translator, and we're trying to find a, sta a train station to Iwu. We found a 7-Eleven, but that's still um, under construction. I'm a